Hello everyone, my name is Fitterspace and today I'm going to be showing you how to speedrun Countdown. So one thing I want to say before I start this level is that I have the infinite health code turned on. So I'm using an action replay code right now because I want to go through this section slowly, but there are unfortunately a lot of bad guys that are going to be shooting at you the whole time. And that's not good for a tutorial, so I have the infinite health code turned on just for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, so you want to go down that vent and shoot this guy in the back and go around him. So when you go around him, obviously, you don't want to just do this, because that's slow. You want to jump over this, jump around that corner, because that's faster. Go through this door. You can kill this guy if you want to, but you don't have to. I mean, it's not going to save or lose any time if you do. So you don't have to even kill that guy. You can just run around him. And we're about to do a new strat that was invented pretty recently. Uh, I'm going to kill this guy just so he doesn't set the alarm. But we're going to use some remote mines to kill the, the boss of this section of the level, uh, Rook. At the end of this section, Rook spawns, and he spawns right there, right behind this door, this door that has A5 written above it. He spawns right there. So, you know, just when you were back here, while you're going through this door, you're going to have your Delta Repeater out like this. You want to get out your remote mines, just like this. And while you're running up here, there's two options that you have you can put the mines on the wall right here. I'm gonna make a save state here and show you. So you can put the mines on the wall like this. And if you do this, you have to put four mines. Put four mines just like that. It doesn't matter where the mines are. They could be right next to each other as long as they don't collide. Because if they collide, they blow up. So you wanna throw the mines. It doesn't matter where they are, just as long as they're on this wall. and not on the door. If they're on the door and a bad guy opens the door, uh, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes they can explode. Uh, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to put them on the door. You want to put them on the wall, just like this. And it doesn't matter where. You can just do whatever you want. So if you put them on this wall, you need to have four mines. But... Uh, you can open this door right here and like I said the boss of this section Rook spawns behind this door so you can put three mines right here so you put three mines right there so as soon as he spawns you're gonna blow up those mines and just kill him instantly um, it's slightly slower to do this but if you want to it doesn't matter if you want to do that you can but I would advise to you know you to put the mines on the wall because that's faster that way it's about, it's faster by like a second, so it's not like that big of a difference. But just put them on the wall like that and go through this door A6 right here. So go through here and jump on this barrel because right there, see that? Those are some more mines. We need more mines for the last section. So we used four mines there. We need to pick up four mines. So. You jump on this barrel and jump over here and pick them up. So it's going to look like this. So you jump over here, jump there, and pick up the mines. And at this point in the level, the alarm is going to sound and all the bad guys are going to be shooting at you. So you want to do all this stuff really fast. But you're going to go through this door again. Actually, in a speed run, though, since the alarm is going to be off, this door is going to be open. And you're just going to run through here. So I'm going to show you that in full speed, exactly what it would look like in one of my runs that I'd be doing. So get the remote mines out and so throw the mines just like that, far away. So this one's on the floor, but it's close enough to the wall that it's not that big of a deal. So get out the delta repeater again. You see this door is open, just run through this door go left through A8 right here and go down this long hallway. You want to be holding up left or up right because that's optimal movement. So go through this A12 door so once you go through here take a left. And like I said I have the infinite health code turned on because I want to go slow in certain sections to show you uh, and I don't want to have to worry about dying 
in the tutorial. If you want to, if you're playing on operative difficulty while you're running through here, there's some armor through this door. This door that says A17 above it. This is the armory. And there's some armor right there you can pick up if you want to. Um, I don't go for it in my runs. You don't need the armor, but it's good to have, you know, especially if you're just starting out in this game. And before you go through this door, you want to get your laser out. It doesn't really matter, but just go through this door, get out your laser, and there are two little terminals or, you know, motherboards or whatever that you have to use your laser on to, to cut them. So go over here and go to the left one first. So you want to use the laser on the green one, go over here to the right, use the laser on the green one. Using the left one is faster because what you need to do is you need to go to this computer and activate this computer with a red screen on it. But you can activate this monitor from behind like this, just like that. And then this whole room like blows up and everything. But so that's why it's faster to go to the one on the left first. You go here, go there, and this monitor is on the right side. So traveling from there to here is less distance than from there to here. So once this door opens, you're gonna go through and go around here. Now I know this is a lot to learn at the beginning, which is why I'm gonna show this section multiple times. So you just wanna go back the, the way you came and you wanna kill as many of these guys as you can. So get out the Delta Repeater and shoot them because you want to pick up these grenades that they have. If I missed him, don't don't slow down to pick up more grenades. If you miss them, that's fine. So while you're going through this door, right before you get through this door that says A8 on it, um, you want to get out your remote mine and press Z to detonate. So go through here. So Rook actually already spawned, so I couldn't show you what it looked like to kill him fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this entire section looks like at full speed. Because that was the end of the section anyway. So you want to get out the remote mines. Wow, he just slapped me right in the back. So use the, this mine is a little bit far away, but I think it'll be okay. We'll put four mines here. We'll find out if that's, uh, if that's close enough later on. I guess I'll learn from that too. So grab some more mines over here go through this door, make a left, and go down this long hallway. So obviously in a real speed run, you're going to be taking damage from all of these guys, so you might want to, I mean if you want to, you can like shoot at them with the repeater so that they don't do damage to you. You know, if you took a lot of damage back there, you can go back here and grab that armor. If you're playing on double O agent difficulty, that door is locked, so you can't get that armor. So go to this left terminal over here first, or this whatever you would call this. And activate this computer from the back. Wait up here. You gotta wait for this door to open. So there's two types of doors you can get here. There's the slow door and there's the fast door. So this is the slow door. What I mean by that is that it took a long time to open. You see this, how I'm having to wait? But if I got a fast door, it would open up faster. So you want to go through here and kill as many of these guys as you can because you want to pick up their grenade launchers that they have. So I missed him. Don't, yeah, like I said, don't stop and shoot at them. You should kill at least one of them already. So before you go through this door, equip your remote mines. Press Z to switch to the detonator. Wait for Rook to spawn here. And as soon as he spawns, you see he, how he like flipped over? That means he's dead. And just go through this door. So I'm going to show you one more time at full speed. Like exactly what it looks like when I do my runs. So I didn't kill that guy. That's not that big of a deal. Um, this first section, in my opinion, is the, the hardest one to like completely optimize. But... Uh, everything after this is pretty simple. Uh, there's only one, like, the the second section of this level has a, a tough glitch that you need to do, but that's it. Everything besides that is easy in the second section. 
So go through here. Go through here. Go through here. You can pick up that armor if you need to. And use your laser on the the left thing first, and then the right one. I see so many runners go for the right one first, and that's slower. So don't do that. So you have to wait for this door. Um, the door opens a certain amount of time after you activate that computer so you want to activate that computer as fast as possible so you, that's why you go to the left first then the right so you can shoot these guys if you took a lot of damage and you don't have that armor uh, but you want to pick up some of these grenade launchers that they have so you want to go right past him and kill him. Sorry, my controller like kind of stopped working there for a second for some reason. So, as soon as he spawns, just detonate that, kill him, switch to the Ames grenade launcher, and go through this Delta Sector door. If you don't use those mines at the very beginning, you're going to have to go up to Rook and just kill him like normal. You're just going to have to shoot him a bunch of times. Um, but obviously that's pretty slow. So I'm going to make a save state here. And at the very beginning of this section, if you don't already, you want to equip the Ames Grenade Launcher and press Z on the GameCube controller to switch to your um, alternate fire. And the alternate fire is the Grenade Launcher. So you're going to go forward through this door. You don't want to turn at all because you want to shoot through this little window as soon as you can. And you already spawn with the the optimal angle right here like you're looking straight forward so just shoot through there and you see for some reason the grenades go straight through the windows so this window like there's no glass here so the wind the grenade just goes straight through that and there are two bad guys that spawn in here and there's a, a laser trip wire right here so the grenade hits one of the bad guys kills both of them and blows up that laser trip wire all with one grenade and if you don't do that let's say you just go through here you know I got pretty lucky and I just shot through that anyway but you, you can see the laser trip wire there for a second so you want to go through here and this is where the level splits uh, depending on if you want to do the glitch or not if you don't do the glitch you know you you obviously don't have to do the glitch it's a very very tough glitch and it only saves 20 seconds so if you fail the glitch if you fail the glitch once you're wasting time rather than what you would have done if you would have just played the level normally so if you're gonna do the glitch you're gonna go through this door you'll, you'll notice by the, the little lock over here but this is unlocked on operative difficulty you pick up that armor and I'm gonna make several save states I already have a detailed video talking about just this clip so I'm not going to go too much into detail because I could talk about this for another 10 minutes. But you see this door right here? That's the final door in the whole section. So if we could just clip through this door, then we could get over there. So this is one of the harder clips to do in the game. But you want to get into this corner. And, you know, it, I'm assuming that you already know how to clip. But just in case you don't, you want to take a little step back and uncrouch into the corner while you're pulling out a gadget and pulling out a gadget changes Bond's hitbox so you go slightly into the wall or you go slightly into the floor so that, that lets you clip out of bounds so press X on the GameCube controller and right on the D-pad at the same time and then press X again to clip through the floor and you'll you're on like a solid surface right now you can see see I'm just like walking down here so there's the door we need to jump toward it but you need to go to these rocks over here and you can see my input display this is my control stick and this is my C stick so you can see exactly what I'm doing um, 
but you want to move past this like pressure point you know if i move left right here I'm, I'm like bouncing off this pressure point is what everybody calls it so once you go through that you're like into the next room i guess so you go over here to the next room and look like slightly up here you can see my input jump toward it so i'm on a solid surface right now just like i was before but this time i'm standing up so i'm standing up i'm through this wall and i'm standing on a solid surface so we're gonna just jump you don't want to be looking at the door because if you look at the door i'll make a save state if you look at the door you're just going to fall straight down and you obviously don't want to do that so you want to look to the left of the door just a little bit and just mash y a bunch of times you're going to land on this ledge right here you see how this is like sloped a little bit you're going to land there uh, and bounce back up here if you go too far to the right there's no ledge here for you to stand on you'll just fall down if you go too far to the left uh, you can still clip through just like that actually but uh, sometimes you can't if you don't do that right you go to the left you see I can clip through it just like that but obviously uh, I'm not getting that consistent but maybe you can you know everybody everybody that runs this game has their own method for doing this so if you're having trouble with this um, and you're having trouble with the way that I do it talk to another runner and you know ask them what they do because everybody does this differently and maybe you know someone else's method would work best for you but uh, I already have a very detailed video on this clip I'm gonna show this a few times but uh oh do I not have a save state before this that's fine whatever we'll just go back here so I'm gonna make a save state here so you go into this corner clip through and go down so like I said I'm gonna assume that you already know how to clip through floors in this game um, if not you know there, I have a, a video on that already you just crouch and pull out a gadget while you're in a corner and press X again to go out of bounds but you want to move past this pressure point look up you see here's like this triangle shaped rock you want to look where that rock was and you see this is what happens when you fail the clip right here so you're gonna just touch that and die so you know if you fail the clip you're gonna waste way more time than you would have saved if you would have made the clip the first try so you see I messed it up again um, so if you don't want to go for this you really don't have to I promise it's not like you only have to go for this if like your time is really really good and you want to beat your time but you know if you have other time to save I wouldn't recommend going for this right now because you can see even I'm messing this up a couple times uh, you see I just got it there look to the left of the door and you see I messed that part up so there's a uh, I normally don't mess up the clip this many times uh, I guess it's the recording curse but uh, th this clip isn't easy to do it's not too hard to do but like I said I already have a re uh, really detailed video on this clip so I'm not gonna go into too much more detail about it I'm just gonna show you one more time what it looks like when you get it right so you want to go around here and again I want to show what this looks like when you get it right I already got it once before but I want to show you one more time I'm having a little bit of trouble with this for some reason dang alright but yeah you're, you're just gonna clip out of bounds and land on that rock it's not it doesn't look good when I mess this up in a tutorial a bunch of times but this is why I make other videos so I already like I said I've, I've said this quite a few times um, you don't have to go for this clip um, it only saves 20 seconds which is a lot that's a lot of time but if you have more time than that to save in other places you see this is what it looks like when you get it right you just go through this door and go there but I'm gonna show you what you would do oh don't quit what you would do without that glitch 
But if you have time to save elsewhere, you really don't have to worry about getting this crazy clip that's like... It's not the hardest clip in the game, but it's one of them. So... You're gonna go to the left here. And... Uh, so you're gonna take a lot more damage than I'm taking. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't be just running through this. Because obviously you'd be taking more damage than I am right now. You can shoot this guy if you want. He has a grenade launcher. So he has more grenades. If you run low on grenades, you can kill this guy and he'll drop some for you. Um, but you want to go through here. And as soon... Oh, I guess I gotta kill this guy. But as soon as you walk through here... Uh, you see there's two explosive barrels. A grenade is gonna pop up. So you want to run through this quickly before that blows up. Get out of my way. And just pretty much just run past these guys. Shoot that because there's a explosive charge right there. Oh, it's right here. So shoot that guy. So at this point, I'm out of grenades. Uh, which is really bad. If you run out of grenades, you're gonna have to kill one of these guys to get more grenades. You can see I'm a little out of practice. It's been a while since I've done this part without the glitch. Uh, but you see, here's the door again, where uh, where you would be if you didn't, where uh, you know after the clip. But I'm gonna go through that one more time because I felt like that wasn't too good of an explanation on what to do. So you can kill this guy. He has more grenades. Oh, he spawned over there that time. Kill that guy, he has more grenades. And there's gonna be some laser trip wires here. So you wanna shoot those. Oh my goodness gracious, go around this guy. Run past this grenade, Just, you know, completely ignore it. If you stay there too long, obviously you're gonna blow up. So shoot that. You may want to be a little bit more careful than I am. Oh my goodness. Shoot this. Oh, he dropped a grenade launcher. I'm going to go pick that up. So shoot that. You can shoot him for another grenade. And that's where you would be. It's That part's really simple to do. Um, you just have to be a little bit careful because you know you're you're over here with a grenade launcher shooting all these guys, and these are these things are exploding near you. There are guys shooting at you. There are grenades falling from the sky. Like you know, you you might want to be a little bit careful if you're not doing the glitch, uh, especially if you shoot those trip wires. They're gonna explode and it's gonna make a huge explosion. So you don't want to be too close to those. But there's also armor in that back section. You know where I was when I was doing the glitch. So there's some armor in there if you happen to lose some in the first section. So there's armor right there you can pick up. Um, so this third section is... Um, this third section is pretty easy. You just open this door. I should probably make a save state because I may want to show this a couple times. But uh, you just run through this door and go up these this slope. You can completely ignore all of the bad guys here. But, you know, if you want to, you can switch to your burst and shoot them to get more grenades. Uh, that was kind of a slow animation. But if you want to shoot some guys to get more grenades, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, especially if you already have a, a lot of grenades. But you can shoot this guy and get some grenades. You can shoot... Uh, you can use some grenades and kill them. But you see this computer right here? Normally... Like, the, you know, the developer is intended for you to go through here, activate the computer. You can pick up some armor right there, too, if you need it. So, this is why I have the infinite health code turned on, because I want to show all this stuff without having to waste time killing the bad guys. So you're going to go over here and activate that computer through the glass. I don't think you can... I don't think you can um, blow up this glass or shoot through it or anything. Yeah, you can't break the glass, but you can still activate the computer through it. So you're going to come around here, and if you need some armor, if you got shot pretty bad in that last section, you can just grab that armor that's right there. Just jump straight down here and go through this door. 
So you can ignore all of the bad guys uh, in that uh, that section that we just did. It's uh, they're not going to hurt you too bad, especially if you have armor. So this is the last section of the level. Technically, this is the same section. And there's some armor right here as well. Um, you just want to get to one of these like blast doors as soon as you can, because you don't want to be outside when the missiles go off, or when the when the rockets launch. I mean. So you just wait for this, and a ninja is going to pop up back here. So you want to aim over here to the left. You see there, there he is. So just kill him. It doesn't matter how fast you kill these guys. But, uh, you just want to kill these guys. So like I said, there's no timer or anything. The, the rest of the level's not going to go any faster if you kill those guys quickly. There's some more armor in this other, um, uh, these other blast doors. So this is the one that I was in right here. Uh, you can see like relative to Kiko where I'm at. So I'm like to her right over here. So you want to get the remote mines. You want to put one here. One here. One here. And one here. So you see if I'm looking out here there's one to my left, one to my right. One to the front right and one to the front left. You can also put one in the middle if you if you have an extra mine. And you just want to just want to wait in here, just wait for the ninja to spawn. So this part's really simple. And you know if you blow up these mines and there's still a guy left, make sure you kill him as soon as you can, because the next part of the level is gonna. The next part of the level is going to start as soon as you kill all these guys. So you want to kill this last guy as quickly, quick, quickly as you can. Sorry. So if there's a guy left, just shoot him. And go up and press that button as soon as you spawn right there. And that's mission complete. So this level, there's a lot going on in this level. There's a lot going on. So if you have any questions about this level... You know, anything that you need help with, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out.